There's a new Lyme vaccine coming. Will it meet expectations? Tune into this video to find out. Dr. Rawls here. Question, why isn't there a vaccine for Lyme disease? Well, there actually has been a vaccine for Lyme disease back around the year 2000, early in the 2000s. A uh, vaccine was in trials and was going to come to market, but uh, people started that were in the trials for the vaccine started getting autoimmune symptoms that were very severe. So they actually tabled the vaccine and the company did not follow through with bringing it to market. Uh, so it was, uh, it was a bit of a disaster back then. Um, but it's coming back up now and there is a vaccine that is in trials again and it's basically the same vaccine. And they've gone back and looked and they've downplayed some of those autoimmune concerns so they're bringing it to market again. We'll see. Maybe it'll work. Um, I hope they really do some thorough trials though to make sure that the autoimmune phenomenon isn't real, which it very much could be. Because when you look at vaccinating for microbes, different microbes respond different ways. So if you look at a highly virulent microbe, and by virulence I mean a microbe that has a very high potential to cause acute and severe illness, those microbes tend not to change and, the, and when you develop a vaccine that focuses the immune system on that really terrible threat, they tend to work very well. So vaccines for illnesses like smallpox and polio and some of the more devastating illnesses tend to be real lifesavers. Even, uh, even viruses uh, like measles and mumps, can, can, the vaccine can be uh, something that can pro provide extraordinary benefits. But when you look at Lyme disease, it's not, as it's not as simple as a microbe for a illness. We know that Lyme disease is actually often many microbes. They're co-infections, people pick up other things, and Lyme disease generally isn't a severe acute infection. Many, many people get bitten by ticks, get infected with Borrelia and possibly at the same time other microbes like Rickettsia that are often associated with Lyme disease, but they don't get symptoms. They don't get sick. They don't get sick until, and they can harbor these microbes in their system long-term, and it, it's not until their immune system becomes disrupted that they start having symptoms. So you've got this microbe that doesn't typically cause acute illness, can be many microbes, not just one microbe, but doesn't typically cause problems until someone has disrupted immune system functions. That's very, very different from those highly virulent microbes that respond so well to vaccines. So I'm taking a wait and see attitude. It wouldn't surprise me that just because these microbes are so complex, that it's not, either not going to have very much of an effect on Lyme disease, or we could see that uh, concern about autoimmune illness pop up again. Uh, so I think it's, uh, it's one that we have to be really cautious about. It could be beneficial in Lyme endemic areas, but it's, uh, as far as a vaccine that everybody gets, I, I'll have to wait and see on that one. And I think we have to approach that one very, very cautiously. For more information like this, please check out my website, rawlsmd.com. Sign up for the newsletter. Keep this kind of information coming to you regularly. Um, and thank you for watching the video. Take care. Thanks for watching this video. Please take the time to leave a comment below. And while you're there, uh, ask me any questions or if you have topics that you'd like to hear about, uh, pass those along. Um, and please subscribe to my channel so you'll have these videos coming your way regularly. Thank you.